Hello, so here you are in front of the manor house, which dates back to the 17th century. In the 17th century, as you know, there was no tower. So there were simply two pavilions that didn't touch the manor, but are outside in the courtyard. You have the chapel on your right and the dovecote on your left. It's a very plain 17th century building. The beauty of this house is that it's very simple. It was built in 1667 by one of my ancestors, as the property has remained in the same family for 500 years. It has remained in its original conditions, which is quite rare. Blonde stone, Sarlat stone, we're in the heart of Perigord Noir, 10 kilometers from Sarlat, and it's the Sarlat and tourism capital of the Dordogne. So let's move on, if you don't mind, to the interior. Here you are in the living room with a beautiful fireplace. The entire manor was built in 1667. The date is inscribed here. It's the unicorn, the family emblem. This is a working fireplace, of course. All the furniture has been here for 300 years. This is family furniture only. Nothing has been bought or sold. Apart from the television and the sofa, it's all been left in its original condition. It's a large room with a beautiful bookcase in front of you and some family pictures of my ancestors. Here, Louis XIV armchairs with the original tapestry. 17th century Aubusson tapestry. And some family paintings. Like this one, Antoine de la Calprenède, Lord of Erignac and Morival. He was a member of the Grand Council and director of the Mint under Louis XVI. He created the gardens of the 18th century. Uh, I haven't read all these books since they're in Old French, but these manuscripts have a certain value because they're original and have always been there too. Now, after this salon, we'll move on to the dining room. You're in the dining room and you see above the fireplace Gautier, Coste de la Calprenède, who built the manor himself. He was a writer and he wrote a number of books, including one that was all the rage at the time, called Artaban, and the famous phrase, proud like Artaban, comes from this character. The furniture, uh, well here the furniture is Louis XIII, absolutely classic. Uh, and there we have some 17th century uh, pewter. The floor is made of pisse, very typical of the Perigord region. It's found in many castles and openings on the garden, of course. Next door is a small TV room where some cards games are played. A nice little room. And we'll move on to the kitchen. The small dining room and the kitchen. Here you are in front of the small dining room, mainly for breakfast. Here it is in all wood paneling, and now we'll move on to the kitchen. You're standing in front of the manor's main kitchen, arranged, of course, in a modern way. There's a washing machine and ovens that perhaps weren't there before. But it's a lovely kitchen, all wood paneling, and it's where you can sometimes have a nice meal, lots of openings, as they did in the 17th century. Quite simply, 
Now after the kitchen, we'll go up to the first floor to visit the bedrooms. You're looking at the staircase to the first floor, quite 17th century, as it was done in those days. Seventeenth century armchair. Then you enter my room, in which I was born. I was born in this room, and I'll die in this room, I hope. So I have memories of my whole life in this house. So this is a picture of my parents, my father on the right and my mother on the left. And I'll tell you more about my father later, because he's the one who created the gardens, who recreated them 50 years ago. And I'll tell you the story. It's a very interesting story. And my wife, And my son, the last successor, this is my son who's 25 today. Then we'll move on to the other rooms. Then you have here the room we call the bishop's room. One of our ancestors was a bishop, a bedroom with a canopy and a wood paneled bathroom. fireplace. Every room has a working fireplace, of course. We'll move on to the next room. Another bedroom with family portraits, of course. A contemporary painting and a wood paneled bathroom. So now we're off to the garden, which is really the heart of Erignac. My whole passion, my whole life is devoted to gardening. So now I'm going to show you everything around. <laughs> 